The Minister of Local Government and Regional Development recently shared some of the investments his ministry will be undertaking in Region 6 during this year. Details in this Jalissa Hines report. Minister of Local Government and Regional Development, Mr. Nigel Darmlal, shared some of the investments his ministry will be undertaking in Region 6 this year at the handing over of the pickup truck and boat engine in the Regional Democratic Council's compound on Wednesday, May 19, 2021. This year, very soon actually, we will also be investing in a few hundred million dollars in community roads uh, in the township of, um, of New Amsterdam, in the township of Roosevelt, as well as uh, Periviton. And specific to New Amsterdam, we'll be doing some work this year in Stanley Town, and we will also be doing uh, two streets in Tim uh, well, uh, the two streets in, in, in Timmer's Dam, first and second. We have to make sure that people understand the investments that we're making. But I think more importantly, we have to be out there listening to persons. The, the new mode of work of the RDC, since our government took office, has been one where we have to be more consultative, we have to outreach more, we have to uh, also collaborate with the uh, residents of different communities. Uh, we have said that uh, in no uncertain terms, and uh, you know, it's something that I don't equivocate about, that I, we would like to see evidence of what people require. That means, therefore, that you go out, you do your consultations, and that is why these resources are provided. So you can go out and do consultations, meet with people, get to hear of their issues, and then the budget process takes over from there. So it is all part of the capacity building of the RDC, and we hope that whatever we're doing will redound to the benefit of the people of Region 6, and that they can continue to expect even greater support, and uh, support uh, also at a higher level. Minister Damlal further elaborated on his expectations of the Regional Democratic Council staff and encouraged them to apply for the gold 20,000 scholarships that are being offered by the government. We would like to see more jobs created, so I am expecting that the staff are also going to ensure that that happens in the sense that they are not going to be an obstacle to efficiency and effectiveness in the administration of the region. We would like to see more young people applying for scholarships. I hope staff of the RDC have applied for these gold scholarships. If you have not yet done so, then I suggest that you also take the opportunity. He then encouraged them to get vaccinated for COVID-19. We expect that even, you know, we work in, in, in these COVID times, uh, numbers are, are, are also surging in different parts of the country. We hope that the staff of Region 6 RDC have been fully vaccinated or they've taken their first dose. Uh, I, I've met with some RDCs and some of his staff are still hesitant at this point in time, but I think it has a lot to do with uh, misinformation and lack of communication from the regional health department. So I, I, I've seen the numbers for Region 6 and you are performing. Uh, what? I was going to say it much, much better than elsewhere, but Chairman is reminding me that Region 6 has the highest vaccination rate right now. So we expect that leadership to continue, and, and we hope that the staff who are working here that are, are, are also taking that national responsibility to get vaccinated. And you also desist from misleading and, and misinforming mem members of the public about the vaccination process and the benefits. Finally, Minister Darmlal encouraged the staff of the Regional Democratic Council to perform at their best and to work towards transforming Region 6. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Julissa